Welcome back, Mr. Longo here to talk to you about parallelograms in the coordinate plane. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the coordinate plane to prove whether or not a quadrilateral is a parallelogram. Now, it's actually pretty easy to do. If you have a coordinate plane, it's even easier. Um, if not, it's still fairly simple. So we'll start with the one that's given a coordinate plane. First thing you're going to need to do is plot all of these points. So we have a is at negative 4, comma 1. B is at negative 2, 6. C is at 4, comma 7. And D is at 2, comma 2. Okay, now to prove whether or not this figure is a parallelogram, what you need to do is basically calculate the slope of all four sides because remember the definition of a parallelogram means it has two pair of opposite sides that are parallel so to do that on a coordinate plane all we need is to find the slope so first thing I'm gonna do is find the slope of AB and since we're on a coordinate plane we can just count remember start with the leftmost point so we have up one two three four five and right 2, which means the slope of AB is 5 halves. So the first thing I'll do after finding that slope isn't to find BC or AD, but be to find the opposite side first. Because if it doesn't have the same slope, you're already done, you can say that it's not a parallelogram. So to get from D to C, you go up 5 and right 2 again. So we know there's a good chance that it could be now because at least one set of sides is a parallelogram or is our parallel. So to do this, we have to continue to B, C, and A, D. So to get from A to D, again, we're going to go up one, and this time we're going to go right six. So we have one sixth. So after we do that, we have to go find the slope of B, C. We go up one and write 6 again. So both sets of opposite sides are parallel. So this is a parallelogram. Okay, so you just prove it using slopes. If any time you have one set that is not parallel, you can automatically just go ahead and say that it's not a parallelogram and you're good to go. Okay, um, I know you probably just want to cheat and copy these and put them on top of the coordinate plane, but that's not the purpose of this example. If you do not have a coordinate plane, the game plan is still the same thing. You still have to find the slopes of the opposite sides. But in this case, we're going to have to use a slope formula. So what we're going to have to do is first map it out. So we know that the quadrilateral is WXYZ. So you want to draw yourself some sort of a quadrilateral. It doesn't have to be a perfect parallelogram because, again, we're not so sure that it's going to be one. And you can label it WXYZ. Make sure you go in order. It doesn't matter where you start as long as you go in order. So you need to find, to start, two slopes. I'm going to pick XW and YZ to find the slopes first because if they're parallel then we'll continue if they're not parallel well, there's no need to continue so then we're just going to use the slope formula for WX and um, YZ the left and right so if you forgot slope formula is Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1 okay so X and W, we have 1 minus a negative 3 over a negative 4 minus a negative 5. And that would end up giving us 4 over 1. So the slope of XW is 4 over 1. So now we're going to go find YZ. So we have a negative 2 minus 2 over 0 minus 2 and that's going to give us negative 4 over a negative 2 and therefore 
we already see that these are not parallel, which means this is not a parallelogram. Okay? So that's the different ways you can do it. And, you know, if those would have been parallel, we would have continued. But since they are not parallel, there's no need to check the other two sides. For now, at least. I mean, there are going to be more specific types of quadrilaterals we're going to be working with where you might need to actually find them. So we're going to let you try two more examples on your own. We have the one on the left, we have um, MNOP, which you can use on the coordinate plane given to you. For the second one, I want you to do it using slopes and see if you can figure out whether or not these are parallelograms or not. Once you're done, feel free to press play and see how you did. So pause the video and give these a try on your own. Now that you've clicked play, if you got no for the first one and yes for the second one, you would be correct. Now the first one, after you draw it onto the coordinate plane, you are not allowed to just say, no, it doesn't look like one. You have to have mathematical proof. So if you saw that M and N look like it's a little shorter than P and O, you still need to find the slope. So you found the slope from M to N, which would have been 3 over 1. From P to O would have been 4 over 1. Since they're not parallel, these are not, this is not going to be a parallelogram. So you're already done. In the purple example, you have EF and GH, which are opposites. You find the slope of both of those using the slope formula, and you would end up with 3 and 3. Since those are parallel, you must continue and you find the slope of FG and EH, and since those both have the same slope, then yes, this example is a parallelogram. Okay, that's it for this video. You got C2 done, got to try two on your own. That's it. This is Longo and I'm out. See you, bye.